I know that also uh, from uh, the Dutch side, also from the Dutch uh, regulatory side, uh, there is an open uh, position that it's not needed to do so. And uh, uh, we have uh, big uh, uh, telco companies who have big advocates for network fees uh, in several European countries. Uh, we uh, had a, rep a presentation of a study by Wikonsult on the on this subject in the parliamentary event uh, we had just uh, a few weeks ago. And this study refutes the argument that there is insufficient money for expansion without network fees. They say there is enough money in the sector and it's a question on how it is invested and uh, not a question as if there is a lack of um, uh, investment or possibilities uh, because there is a lack of money. In this context, uh, unintended consequences for large parts of the cultural and creative sector cannot be ruled out. Uh, this additional burden would be, especially in light of the last crisis years, extraordinarily damaging for uh, large parts of the value in an industry whose digital business models are largely and increasingly based on internet-based sales channels. And um, uh, I know that uh, COVID had a huge impact in the production sector in the last years and if uh, the sector is also um, uh, impacted by these fees, it uh, will not lead to a more diverse and more uh, intensive and more quality content production uh, all over Europe. So it would also jeopardize the functioning market for online content distribution and significantly impact online consumers. 